limited to only a few islands in their shallow, fringing reefs. The vast majority is inaccessible to human divers. Where sunlight starts to peter out, the familiar coral reefs are replaced by a deeper, different world. We launched a survey by Remote Operated Vehicle, or ROV, a type of robot, for the first ever human exploration of Lihu's deep reefs. We well, can't do any scientific diving deeper than 30 metres deep, so we use a, an underwater robot, the ROV. From our surveys out there, we found a pristine coral reefs in about 25 to 45 metres deep. These are probably really important because they are reasonably stable and uh, probably provide replenishment and help recovery for the shallow reefs that we saw were affected. We also surveyed deeper reefs at 50 to 85 metres. Just a few hundred metres offshore from the Coral Cay, there are really steep sheer walls which drop off hundreds of metres. We found massive Gorgonian fans, uh, sea whips, uh, barrel sponges, and uh, interestingly we also saw a lot of plant life, the crustos coralline algae, which form big pink limestone shoots over the reef as well. Many, many of these uh, plants and animals could well be new to science, we just don't know. And while we're out there, we only looked at a minuscule area. Um, there are uh, many kilometres of these sheer walls out there, and who knows what else could be out there. Lihu's deep reefs are removed from the impact of cyclones and coral bleaching, but there is a more insidious threat. Like humans, deep reef building creatures must absorb calcium for their skeletons. For this to happen, the sea must be slightly alkaline. More and more carbon is dissolving in the ocean, making it more acidic. Soon, coral reefs, shelled animals, plankton, and other building blocks of life may not be able to survive. Creatures like the Nautilus that have lived for 500 million years could cease to exist, and remote places like Lihu could tragically change. This is our most profound consequence of a carbon lifestyle. It's in our power to stop, but only if we act now.